Hello, beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. If I have food in my teeth at all during this video, it's because I just ate so much food. I filled my tummy up and it felt so good. A little story before I start watching these videos. So I haven't been like really super on social media lately. I started looking up some stuff randomly. I was just like, Here, what's going on with the butterfly cut these days? <laughs> Holy sh you guys, I knew it was a big thing, but like there is a lot of videos with a lot of views and a lot of people doing it. So um, today we're gonna watch people try and do my butterfly cut. Hopefully it looks good and hopefully I did you well and didn't help you mess up your hair and I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of responsibility to like give you the tools to do a really good haircut to yourself at home with no hair experience. And that's a hard task. And holy sh do I get hate for you guys. <laughs> Those hairdressers out there be mad at me for giving you the tools to do your own hair. I'm sorry. Cuff me and take me away, police. Um, because I guess I deserve to be arrested. Sorry not everybody goes to a salon to get their hair done. Sorry that I want to help people be able to feel confident in their bodies through their hair and give them the tools to do it at home for nearly zero dollars. So f all you hairdressers out there who give me a hard f time because I make people's hair look good through the internet. <laughs> Let's watch people follow my butterfly cut tutorial and let's see if they can do it right and follow the directions. And hopefully there isn't any tragic messes because I don't want any blood on my hands or no, there's no good joke there. I was gonna say like, hair clippings on my hands. Like that doesn't make any sense. Up first, we have a video by Jenna Phillips. I have just been thinking lately for like a week now that I really wanna change up my hair because just this past couple months, all I do is just wear my hair up in a ponytail because I'm just like not happy with my hair. It's just very flat and boring. Instead of going to a hairdresser, I feel like I should cut my own hair. I get it now. I get why every hairdresser in the world hates me. Cause she was gonna go to the hairdresser and now she's doing it herself. I'm actually sorry. I don't even know how to curl my hair, let alone do anything with my hair. For some reason, I feel like I could probably do it. Can you though? If you can't even curl your hair, how are we gonna chop a Rooney the boonie? Seems a little sketchy, but also like exciting. I can't wait to see what she does. I have not really touched my hair to cut it. I've always gotten cut somewhere else. But for some reason, I think this is gonna be a great idea because I watched one YouTube tutorial and now I feel like I'm a hairstylist. Ah, I love that. I love that I can make you guys feel like I love that I can make you guys feel like you're a hairdresser through one single hair tutorial. I'm gonna try the butterfly cut at home. It's supposed to be easier, it looks easy, where you just put your hair in two ponytails and then you trim. And I'm just gonna cut a little bit at a time. To be completely honest with you, every time I come to do a reaction video to butterfly cuts, I literally forget how to do a butterfly cut. And I'm the one who told you guys how to do it. I don't even know how to do it. Usually when I record these videos, I have to like rewatch my own tutorial because I'm like, wait, what do I do? What are you supposed to be doing? Brush it all to the front. I Hopefully that's even, I don't know. It looks even enough. So she, what she has to do is find the apex of her head, which is the highest point of your head. And then we get a bring the sectioning down, the parting to behind the ears. And then ponytail, boom, right on the forehead. Unicorn moment, chopperoonie, you know what I mean? Let's just put it into a ponytail and then I can fix it if I need to fix it. This is gonna be so good for her hair. Her hair is more on the finer, thinner side. So adding layers to her hair will really enhance the volume and body and movement on her hair. And it's gonna look so sexy and much more full and full of life as well. Okay, we did it. And then for the rest of the hair, I'm just supposed to put it into a ponytail. Can I just like flip it over? I feel like that'd be easier. Like this. You want that ponytail in the back so far high to the sky to the heavens to jesus christ Boo! and you gotta make sure all those bumps lumps and humps are out of the hair when you cut it originally i was just gonna put my hair into two like side ponytails and trim it that way why are you using a scrunchie though you went all the way to sally beauty supply and got all your supplies but didn't get any hair ties what a surprise isn't that enough oh, i was trying to wrap but that's all i got for you three 
Three lines. I mean, I guess scrunchies are fine, but like definitely not optimal. For some reason, I thought this would be less risky, but now that I'm like doing this, I feel like this is a lot more risky. Anytime you're cutting your hair or coloring your hair at home, it's gonna be risky. So let's see if you can accomplish the task. That parting on the side is looking ratchet. Why is it going like this? Da, 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 da. It's gonna go. Ah! I'm really getting nervous for her. So in Brad Mondo's tutorial, he legit just cut off like half of this. I feel like my hair is a little bit longer than the mannequin he's cutting. I'm not gonna go halfway. I think we're gonna start with maybe like four inches. You gotta cut off a lot or you don't see a difference. I swear. I even have a ruler. Girl, those ends need to go. I'm gonna be so satisfied when those ends drop to the flow because they gotta go. Like they are just hanging on there. There's like one strand and it's like, beep, I wanna go. I'm gonna cut it here. Not sure if it's enough, not sure, yeah. Oh, she cut a lot. I'm getting a little nervous though. Oh, please look good, please look good, please look good. Now for the back piece. I'm gonna use my ruler again because I really just don't wanna mess this up and we're gonna do about the same. So am I gonna regret this? Probably. Can't tell, I can't tell yet. I can tell, it looks so good so far. It looks really, really good. Like we're getting somewhere great. <gasps> you know, it's not looking bad. I don't I don't know that it looks any different yet. I just, maybe I didn't cut off enough because you can see it's a lot shorter in the front here. Ah! I'm starting to see the vision come to life. The life is coming to life. The vision is coming to life, life. Life. I had a green tea today. I put a blueberry tea packet in and then I put a green tea packet in. So it's like a blueberry green tea moment. And it's really, really give me a lot of energy, I must say. Taking a break from um, matcha because I am think I'm allergic to oat milk. That is such a fucking lie. I literally had two matchas today, but it was with water and not oat milk. I'm taking a break from oat milk, which fucked up my matcha consumption because I love an oat milk matcha. <sighs> if anybody knows what to do about an oat milk allergy, like what can I take? Leave a comment down below because it's not fun for me at all. Like imagine, being allergic to oat milk. I kind of feel like cutting off more. Oh, I don't know. It looks good the way it is. I don't know if we should cut anymore. That's risky. Round Start two. with the back. Maybe like two more inches. I don't want to go crazy and cut off like a decent amount more because, you know, I feel like just a little bit more would be better. I just cut off like two more inches. Oh my God, she's really going for it. Okay, in the front. Am I going to regret this? You might. Okay, just do it. I don't know. I think it looks good, I don't know. I think this is gonna be quite nice, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like it might be as well. I got some nice framing in my face, they're not too short, and I can always, you know, redo this all over again after I style it, or I can just kind of trim them a bit shorter if I like. I'm just gonna try to smooth in these out so it's more, I don't know, smooth. That's a good word. That's smooth, right? JK, I think I wanna do it one more time. I feel like I cut a little bit more off the back than the front, so let's just trim it one more time. Oh, sh she's going for round three. <laughs> oh, two wasn't enough? We're really gonna test our luck today? Round three. Stop there, we're done. Put the scissors down, call it a day, we're done. That's a lot of hair. She cut off a lot. <laughs> I got this brush and I got a blow dryer, so. She's gonna style her hair and we're gonna see the final results. Oh, I don't even know what to expect anymore. I did it! And it actually doesn't look that bad. I'm actually really surprised about that because I was going into this mentally preparing to probably have a breakdown. Doesn't look that bad, it looks amazing, what? It actually turned out somewhat decent. I'm not gonna say m the way I styled my hair is that great. This was my first time doing blow out with the hair dryer. I am very happy with myself. I made my hair better. For your first blowout and your first at-home cut, you rocked it. The moment in the front with the face framing and the layers in the back and you cut off so much hair and I told you the more you cut, the better it looks. This looks amazing on you and I'm so glad you chose to do this because the layers have really given you more life. Fabulous job. Up next, we have a video by April G. This is currently what my hair looks like. It's pretty long, but it's also really thin. Oh my God, April. 
April. I am so excited for this one. April, come here. Those ends need to j -j 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 go, whoa, whoa. Bye, down the drain, in the trash, wherever you want to put it. I don't care where they go, but they can't stay in your head. Hey everyone, it's April. Today's video, I'm going to be following Brad Mondo's guide to the butterfly haircut. This is currently what my hair looks like. It's pretty long, but it's also really thin. It's maybe around an inch and a half above my uh, belly button. Also, I wanted to be like that 99% of the people who don't follow the instructions and don't with their hair, but I have a good reason. I wanted to give him a heart attack. I'm joking. You wanted to give me a heart attack? <sighs> April. Because my hair is severely damaged when it's wet, this is what happens. Watch what happens. Okay, hold on. Get a thinner piece. April, please don't do what you're about to do. Please don't do it. Look. April, don't ever do that again. Your hair is so compromised. It says to start from the apex down to your ear, and then I'm gonna do the other side. Oh, I think this should be good right there, right? Whoa. The sectioning looks dope. Good job with that one. Something I forgot to mention is that, you know, the butterfly cut is a very like layered, feathery haircut. I really don't like layers on me, but you know, I, I just need a haircut. April, come here again. Layers are everybody's friend. You could not tell me anybody looks good without layers. You can feel good about yourself without them. But when all the weight of your hair sits at the bottom, it doesn't compliment your face any which way. It doesn't make any sense. Even like one of those like really stick straight bobs that just like are blunt, like it's not doing anything for your face, babe. The layers are the moment. And then we're supposed to grab it like right here so that we can look like unicorns. Sectioning looks impeccable and the ponytail looks impeccable. There's no bumps, there's no humps, and there's no lumps. All right, so I'm looking pretty weird. So I'm going to go ahead and put the one on top and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we are ready. Yo, I got people put it in ponytails on their foreheads. <laughs> I'm sorry for that one. All right, anyway, this is what it looks like. Here's the back. So he does say to point it down. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. Please cut a lot, please cut a lot, please cut a lot. That's pretty straight. This is how much I took off. A good three, four inches. It's a good six inches and about two hairs. Okay, now let's do the top. You're supposed to just point it upwards. April, come on. We gotta do more. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it like right about here. Gotta make sure those bumps are out of that hair before you cut it. When you're combing it or brushing it up, make sure it is straight and perfect. I see lumps, I see bumps, I'm worried. Oh. believe I'm doing this. But my ends are softer now. What? Yo, you took so much off. I'm so proud of you. All right, so here we are about to reveal. Time for the reveal. I have a feeling it's gonna be too short. Okay, so I don't know about doing a blowout, but I'll probably just like use um, something to curl my hair. But that looks pretty good, actually. Look, it like falls. So I did a really good job. And this isn't really short, actually. The way that the face trimming is just flawless makes me just glow from the inside out, you know, with pink light and gayness. It's like still long because it's still, you know, all the way down here. That's the great part about the butterfly cut is it's not cutting your length unless you cut like literally maybe too much off, but it's really working on the layers and the, in the, the structure on the top rather than the bottom. Does that make sense? So my hair is dry now and it is ready to be styled. Time to see it styled. Moment of truth. You guys think I love it. I think it has a lot of uh, texture. It now looks like I have a lot of hair coming from a person who has very thin and a little bit of hair. Now it looks like I have a lot. I love it. The hair is back, baby. Oh my God. Yo, it looks so much thicker and fuller and beautiful and healthier. Thank God you did this cut. Also, you didn't ask me, but I would love to see like a warmer blonde on you. Like the cool is a moment, but like a warmer blonde would look really good with your skin tone. But great job. Up next, we have a video by Nicole Concilio. This is either gonna be the best idea I've ever had or gonna send me into a depression state. I hope it doesn't send you into a depression state. I would hate to be responsible for that. I really wanna try the butterfly haircut. This haircut was made popular by Brad Mondo. I've seen a lot of people do it well, and I've also seen a lot of people tank. So I'm hoping that I'll be one of the people that do it well. 
same. Oh my God, I'm scared. She has curly hair also. So this is gonna be a bit of a different type of vibe. You can still do the haircut on curly hair. It's literally gonna come out the same way as if you had straight hair but your hair is curly. You also have to make sure when you're cutting curly hair like this, that you're taking into consideration the fact that your curls will bounce back up. So when you're pulling your hair straight out and cutting it, it's gonna be a lot shorter than what you're cutting. Does that make sense? Like it's gonna go from here to here. So take that into consideration when you're cutting curly hair, especially in this way. Basically what I watched is you want to separate your hair from the top, the very top of your scalp. It should come out to behind your ears. Yes, that is correct. You win. Brad kept saying that your hair needs to be soaking wet. So I'm going to grab my spray bottle and I also want to put in some leave-in conditioner to make it easier to do. <laughs> Finally, everybody starts to listen to me about the wet hair thing. You know how long this took me to get people to wet their hair before they do my haircuts? It's 10 years. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner. I use about that much for my hair. That's also a good tip to put leave-in conditioner in your hair before you start cutting because this is a lot of like combing it up. Over here, over there, doing ponytails. You wanna make sure your hair is nice and slippery so it's easy to style before you do the cut. Brad said if you like laid a brush on top of your head, you'll find where the apex is and you basically want to take your comb and make oh i think i did it we love a queen that listens nicole what's up we have one section down and the next section down i have to peek through to make sure that this is done in an even manner okay but based off of the struggle we're having right now with getting this hair up into a ponytail in the front of her head i'm a little concerned about how the rest of the cut is gonna go i think that this is an accurate pretty accurate yeah it looks good enough you're going to bring all of these hairs to the front and tie it in a little unicorn vibe so it should look something like this we're gonna go ahead and tie this it's like nicole why don't you just go get a haircut no anything with diy i need to do it why it's so much fun doing your own hair and nicole you better get that ponytail cleaner and tighter because that is not gonna make the cut the first section i think is done uh-oh nicole you watched a lot of my video but for some reason we didn't put the ponytail in the right place the ponytail goes here not here here not here, here. What are we doing? But he kind of said it should be like in the middle of your eyebrows. Yay! Okay, she fixed it. <laughs> when I watched the video, he said like in the middle of your forehead eyebrows area. So I don't know if that's like this. Maybe that's this. We'll just do this instead. Even though it's literally the same thing. It's fine. No, it's a little bit better. The first piece is sectioned. He basically said you want to brush your hair up in a very, very, very high ponytail. Don't miss any pieces. When I watched other girls do this tutorial, basically the way that they had done it was they had an object in their hand as something to measure. Maybe it would be about this much off. That's like, I would want to say it's like what, like four inches? I love the idea of getting a random object from your house and like using it as a measuring stick. I mean, go off. That works. It's just like a funny way of doing it. Enough with the dramatics here. Let's just do it. <gasps> Nicole. I think I'm gonna take these and just kind of like cut upward. One thing about me is I don't like the whole blunt ends. That's not my journey. Okay, we did it. He said when you cut this one, you wanna cut it on an angle forward, and this one you wanted to just cut forward. So you're not cutting it like this. I wanted to cut off so much more hair. Ah, more. I didn't wanna cut much length off the back. Maybe just do a little. We can always put this back up, you know what I mean? But we can't add more hair. So I'm just being very, very, you know, sparing with this. Okay, I think it's time to take it out of its situation. All right, I mean, we didn't cut a lot, but let's see what the result is. Okay, so far so good. Like you can really see the layers here. Oh, the layers are looking so good so far. This is gonna bring her hair to life. She has finer hair. This cut is gonna be perfect, especially when she wears her hair curly. This is gonna look fire. Well, let's see it blow dried. Let's see it. Here is what we're looking like. And I feel like it looks so good. I'm loving the layers. You you can really see it when I like move and bounce my hair. Oh my God, I feel like it looks so good. This was a success. We did not end this in a panic attack. <laughs> 
looks way better than I thought I was gonna look. What? How did you do that? And your hair is so shiny. Everything just came together and it looks fabulous. Great job. Ah, oh, you killed it. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks for making your videos, you guys. I love watching them and it's just like so much fun that I get to make the tutorials and you get to follow them and then you get a good result and then I get to watch them and I get to feel good and it's just a circle of love and happiness and beautiful hair. And uh, yeah, you make me love what I do. If you wanna check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.